So a few months ago, I decided to take a leap of faith and apply to become a vendor in Edmonton Fan Expo's Artist Alley and try and sell some, sell some of my art. I really had no idea what I'm going to exactly do or how I'm going to do it, but I knew I just wanted to do this. And now we're here trying to figure out how my setup is going to look like, what exactly I'm going to be selling and all of that stuff. So in this video, I'll show you what I have figured out so far and I'll show you some of the things that I've bought and some of my setup and some of the things that I'll be selling. So the first thing and the most simplest thing to sell, obviously, are prints. So there, because I have my paintings done already, so I decided to do a few different sizes. So you can see these are five by seven. And I'm not sure if having different sizes is a good idea or not. Then I have these ones, which are eight by 12. And then I also decided to print larger ones, which are 11 by 17. So all of the designs that I have are in all three sizes. Now I know some people say that's not the best idea because maybe people will just buy the smallest size because it's the cheapest size. But I thought I should have all three and see how it goes. You know, it's my first uh, Artist Alley experience. So I wanted to see how it goes. So originally my plan was to just sell prints, you know, all the, all the different sizes. But I got someone say in one of my other videos that stickers do well in, in artist alleys and expos and things. So I decided to get some uh, stickers just to test. So you can see these are some of the ones that I got printed uh, or manufactured. So we have, you can see Miles Morales here. So I did these four designs for now and to see actually how it would print and how it would look like. So we have these four and these four were based from other drawings and other prints that I already have. So I didn't really have to invest too much time in creating these. I just had to spend a little bit of time and put it in a format that they would like for printing and manufacturing. And then I sent it and I got some of these and I was very happy with it. So I think the next step for me is to spend a bit more time doing more designs that are specifically for stickers. And then from there, I can manufacture more. And I think maybe these will do well. I was surprised to know how many people actually buy, buy stickers. And then another thing that I might do is just to do uh, metal prints. I'm not sure which ones to do. I, I really wanna just choose one or two designs and just have one or two metal prints because they're pretty expensive to manufacture. And I'm not sure what the market is for that in these events. So it would be something like the one that I have here from Ross Draws. Print something like that, maybe just choose one or two designs and just see if there is appetite for people to buy those. And if there is, maybe in future uh, expos and things, I can manufacture or make more of those and provide those. For so now let's talk about packaging. So for packaging, I just wanted to keep it simple. So I have these, these plastic sleeves, I got them in different sizes. And the idea is that if someone, for example, decides to get the five by seven, it will just go inside. And then let's say they wanted a sticker or just stickers. I can put the stickers also in this uh, sleeve, plastic sleeve, just like that. And then I can just seal it and close it. And then one other thing that I wanted to do is just get some maybe stickers that just says, you know, my, my name or Cal draws and, and something, maybe some information may, might have almost like a business card kind of thing, but a much smaller one, much simpler that I can put on the, on the sleeves for branding. You know, if someone tries to remember who they bought it from or someone else sees it uh, as they're walking around, uh, you know, the expo, they can, they can know where they got it from. And I thought if I have it in this transparent plastic sleeve, it's also marketing because people will be walking around with these, holding these things and going around and other people might see them and they may ask them, where did you get it from? Initially, I was thinking of envelopes, but then I thought this is another way and it may actually help me, you know, market during the event itself. So now for my setup, you know, I did a lot of research and I tried to figure out how other people do it. And most of it or a lot of my setup is, uh, I think, inspired by Sundrop Studios. 
And I'll put a link to her video here where you can see how she does her full setup. She explains it a lot. It's a little bit different the way I do it, but I learned a lot from that video. So the idea is that I have this stand uh, and I, it's a backdrop stand and I got this from, uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And the idea is to just put my prints, you know, next to each other and maybe um, two above each other's kind of, kind of go like, like this and then fill this space. And then from there, um, I can take this, I can raise this even higher and then have it at a decent height. And then on the table, and then on the table and so this would be behind me and then on the table in front of me, I will have other the smaller prints, I'll have my stickers, I'll have maybe other, uh, other things that I can display, maybe the metal prints, and then we'll have something behind me and then some stuff in front of me. Now I'll show you how I'm planning to attach things to this and take it and put it up. The first thing I did was try and lay them down and try and figure out what setup I want. And I thought this is kind of what I would be going for. Maybe I'll move a couple of things around, but this is the idea. And now that I know kind of what uh, the setup is going to be, what I'm going to do is simply use masking tape to connect them to each other. So I'll set them up like this and then just use masking tape. And I would do that for all of the paintings. Okay, now, so the way I would attach them to the stand is using Velcro. So I bought these Velcro strips, you know, they, it has a part that you can uh, just glue to the, um, to the print. And then I got these ones where I can just use to put around the stand and then they would connect to each other. So I'll show you how I do that. So now that I have those all done, I will put these ones in here and then that will, I'll use this to attach the rest of it and put all the paintings on top. So I was playing around a lot with how to put this and I tried a few different ways and I think I figured out what's the best way of putting this. So see how that goes. And you know, all of this is trial and error. That's why we try and do this before to just test so that on the day, it's a lot faster and smoother. And then I have a few more horizontal ones so I can just use masking tape again and attach them. But the good thing about this one that I got is that I can raise it. So that's one of the reasons I got this so that I can adjust it in the event very easily. So I can set up at a normal height and then take it up after that. So there we go. This is the back stand, I guess. I mean, it's a little bit of adjustment to make it a little bit more, you know, steady and look more straight. Um, during my first one, I'll have some help. So using two people, it will be a lot easier to set this up. But this is what the back is going to look like. So this will be behind me and then in front of me, I'll be sitting down. And then now I'm going to show you what I'm planning to do with my table. So, for, uh, so on my table, I got this thing here that's uh, typically, you know, it's a thing that you can use for recording top down on a table, but I can use it to do setups. So you can see part of it here. And the idea here is to display the smaller size prints so that people can see that. And I also added an extension to it. So that's a separate extension because it doesn't come with all of that. Um, it doesn't come with the extra extension. Now, I'm planning to see if I can do this on both sides of the table. If I was just going to do it on one side of the table, I wouldn't need that extra piece that's up there. But because I thought maybe I'm doing this on both sides, I got this extra piece so that I can do two different kind of extension. You know, the one side 
comes here, this way, we have these prints, and then the other side is these prints. Then the next thing was how am I supposed to display my stickers, you know? So I bought this thing and I saw this idea on, on Facebook, so it wasn't completely an original idea for me. But it's uh, for nail polish, it's nail polish holders. But instead of that, I can use it to hold some of my stickers. And although I don't have enough stickers to fill the whole thing, I can just add some and then use the rest of it to display some of my prints. And I think I'm just gonna use, use it to display some of my horizontal smaller prints rather than the vertical ones. Just because when I put them like this, if I put something else, if I have this vertical and I put something else behind it, obviously you can't see it. So I will just use it to display some of my horizontal prints like this and then just use the bottom parts for sticker. Uh, I obviously don't have enough stickers yet, but I will soon. And uh, this is what I got for my 5x7s. It's a postcard holder here. I have the link below. So the idea here is that I can have as many as I want here and people can almost like self-serve and see what's in there. And they can look at, at them all. So I can put multiple, I don't have to just put one. I can put, for example, five or 10 of them in here and then restock as needed. So yeah, so for the other side, let's, let's assume this is the other side. Maybe I won't have as many prints as I have here hanging the small sides because I wanna add maybe a couple of metal prints. So this is obviously not mine. This is the uh, Ross Draws, but this is the idea. So I haven't printed these yet. So I'll have one this way and maybe another horizontal one right in front of it. So this way I have two metal prints in case people are interested in that. And I, like I mentioned, I'll just do two of them because they're pretty expensive to manufacture and I'm not sure how many people would be interested in. And then finally, uh, down the center, I want to put a portfolio book just in case someone's up close and they want to look at the prints and the paintings that I have, they can just flip through this book here and they can look at what I have and they can see it instead of trying to look around when you know when they're that close maybe it's harder to to see so that's why i decided to have this one as well so that people can browse through it and obviously i will also have my square reader so people can use their cards to purchase so that is the basic idea you know i still have quite a few things missing that i need to get i still need to get you know my tablecloth a runner that would go on top that would maybe have my name on it so people when they come to the table, they can recognize who, who I am and um, they can maybe find me on Instagram or stuff and follow me. A few other things like business cards, I need to get maybe a, a QR code where people can just scan and then it would take, me to the, take them to my socials or stuff. Uh, the other thing is I need to add here is maybe pricing. So I need to print something that shows pricing so that people can immediately see and they don't have to ask the question all the time. They can see exactly what the large print costs, what the small, the medium and the small and the, even the stickers, everything they can see right away so that it's easy for them and maybe it helps them. They don't have to ask the questions and they know right away. So really this is it. So I know the final thing is not ready yet and the final display is not ready, but I just have maybe a month and a half to two months remaining until the event. So hopefully by then everything will be ready and I'll post a video on my exact setup and all the things that goes through it and my experience through the artist alley and let you know how it goes you know I, i'm really excited and i really hope it goes well but uh, that's why i'm prepping and i'm trying to figure things out so that it goes as best as i can thank you for watching and see you in the next one